Hi, this is Aaron Renouf from VMware Technical Marketing. I'm going to show you the motion duration script written for the Dutch VMUG in 2011. As you can see on the screen at the moment, we're running through a vMotion of a small virtual machine. It's the normal wizard over and done with in vCenter. So let's move over to our script editor now that machine has vMotioned. You can see that we have our get vMotion duration function there. We'll run it and it will return the information for that small VM we just vMotioned, detailing the start time, the end time, the fact that it was a vMotion, and how long that took. So let's go back to vCenter. This time we will change the data store, so we will do a storage vMotion to a new data store. The virtual machine is now moving from its old data store to the new data store. Once fully completed we can go back to our script and run it again and this time you'll see we have two results. We have the vMotion which we initially created and we have the storage vMotion. This also details the duration, the start time and the end time.